Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at ya. It's been a long time since I made a video. I've been very busy if my day-to-day -day life between work and everything else. This is... <laughs> well, I didn't expect that. Um, I bet they were, wanted me to be a little bit further away. I'm gonna go ahead and press our snapshot button there for that. Um, but yeah, um, really the main reason I haven't made any videos was honestly the 10.10 .10 was quite disappointing and I've just had a lot of other projects going on. Uh, trying to do a lot of house projects and stuff. So that's been keeping me busy. Um, I'm For this update, the release notes are pretty hopeful that something uh, good is going to change. Uh, that was good. I made a slight hesitant, hesitant um, feel in there, but otherwise very good. Um, yeah, so it, it. I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Um, so far, so good. We'll see uh, see what happens here uh, in terms of Salida. This is not the greatest test in the world. Um, it's pretty rural. Uh, it's a very small town, and you know it's not not gonna give us a bunch of traffic and a bunch of stuff. Uh, though it is um, three o'clock, which means school is getting out, uh, which means um, gonna probably have a lot of traffic there to continue with. Uh, something I've already noticed is that it seems like the lane lines are a little bit uh, not lane line. Well, the edges of the road are different. I've already noticed this on my driveway. Um, I didn't record that, but um, seems like it's able to detect better, um, basically determining what's a drivable area better. And it seems to be the darker the lane lines are, the more confident it is. And it seems like this could be a placebo, it could be they just changed it, but it seems a little bit more confident. I did not pay attention, um, which is probably a good thing to going around the curves, but um, it was very smooth going around those curves. I don't know if it stayed at 45 mile an hour or not, um, but it was, uh, regardless, I didn't notice it slowing down or speeding up or any weird jerkiness uh, like previous updates have had, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, the, I think it was 10.9 or 10.10, .10, one of the last couple. Of, still had some phantom braking for that car coming around the corner, so it's not completely resolved. Um, but we'll see. Uh, this is only the first test, so. Um, this. Oh, it regressed. So it went to a complete stop there. Uh, the previous update, the previous test we did on this, I have a playlist if you're interested in seeing how this loop has been changed over time. But the previous update did not stop there and finally fixed it and now it's regressed again back to stop it again. And there's a stop sign on the other side of the road but not for my side of the road. And of course that's um, why it's done it. Of course, uh, so on school days, it says while children are present. Though it is a school day, I think, unless, I don't know if they're on spring break or not. Maybe not, maybe they are on spring break. So maybe we don't have to deal with this. Last time we came through here at this time, there's a ton of traffic uh, right on this road because of the, it's right next to school for pickup. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator. It got really uh, hesitant between the person there and that car, that truck. Really hesitant. Also, um, last update, it corrected this turn because of the new map data. Fixed that turn for the first time. This update um, is said to um, give more priority to the vision over bad map data. So if the map data is wrong, the car is going to um, go at what it sees versus what it uh, interprets from the map data. And I can already tell you that's happening on this area because you look right here, the map data is wrong. Nope. Uh oh. That's gonna be a disengagement and worse than the previous time because it, it made it well last time. Um, it made this really well last time. But unfortunately, it, it has, was really hesitant and decided it, it wasn't gonna make it. 
so while by a strict disengagement and everything it's uh, definitely worse uh oh so here's our this is obviously causing issues we'll just uh reroute this here okay um while this is a it appears to be worse in a couple areas i'm pretty hopeful that um it's probably gonna mess up here isn't it yep yeah so that's another disengagement we just um make sure we got snapshot i don't know if it's gonna get the other one or not but um yeah this is the road right here and it was gonna go past and that probably has to do with the map data as you can see it's it's all over the place it's not aligned with the road It seems like, actually now, it seems less confident. Now, I haven't paid that close attention on this road previously. Obviously, there's no lane lines, and it's a pretty narrow road for two cars. But, yeah. Uh, see how it makes this left turn. I think the last time... No, it was the time before that, I believe, that we had a disengagement. So was mostly okay for that stop so the left turn was actually really good that was actually a really good turn so we need to cancel this and um so just because i need to navigate us there we go back to where we're going now let's see if it flies out here. Last time it would stop stopped here and they would just fly out and not look. I know for a fact the car cannot see over this bridge and see if a car's coming. Nor can I. Good. That's improved. Very much improved. If it can do that every time, that's very human like and it definitely gave it an appropriate amount of time for it to check. Uh and not jut out into traffic uh, without just blindly going for it so this is um pretty good pretty good let's see if it tries and stops for this blinking yellow here i can tell it was a little bit hesitant still i don't know what it is about blinking yellow is it like it can't register it quick enough and it thinks there's a yellow light it's just going to slow down now obviously it once it after it got rid of that little bit of hes hesitancy did well did great um, if you guys are watching this video for the first time uh, and you're not subscribed, go ahead and give me a subscribe down below. Um, if you want to continue seeing this content, I will um, be recording another video tonight and hopefully another couple videos tomorrow morning, which will be released the rest of this week. So go ahead and uh, if you want to catch up on that, go ahead and give me a subscribe. No pressure. I uh, just appreciate seeing you guys down in the comments. Um, whenever I can make a video, I'll make one. And we'll get some content out just to help compare and see how progress is happening. What we want to see here. So it's not speeding up immediately. This is good. Previous updates, when it changed to the 35 mile an hour, uh, would speed up really quick to 35 mile an hour and then jam on the brakes again. But this time it knew it had a turn coming up. So I'm like, why speed up when you're just going to slow back down? So that did, in my mind, it did it perfectly that's exactly what it should do it should do speed up a little bit you know past the 20 mile an hour when it changed to 35 but it's, it shouldn't just floor it um there's no reason they get up the speed so quickly otherwise it seems to be doing very well around these curves i'm very happy uh, about that performance we'll see once we get it past the dollar general here on the right uh there's another curve about it kind of has a good sweeping left curve uh, and that will give us a good test to see how it does. Did a little bit of a phantom brake for that truck right there. So phantom brake is still there. It, it, the release notes really kind of, there's a lot of technical jargon, but <laughs> from what I can interpret and what I've read, uh, another phantom brake for that car. It does seem that they are trying to focus on phantom braking. It seems like they're 
trying to reduce a lot of false slowdowns. It, it swerved a little bit for that car. You can tell it moving a little bit to the right. This is the curve I was talking about. If it wasn't for that car, it would have stayed at 45 mile an hour, which is really good. Um, it seems more confident around curbs even further, which is fantastic because I like, I live in the mountains, tons of curbs around here. And personally, I like going faster on curves because I'm comfortable with it, especially in a car like this. It handles extremely well, and it's just really comfortable just to go at least a speed limit. Like some of the curves, speed limit actually is fast if you don't have a good car. Let's see, we're gonna do, we're gonna make this 50 mile an hour here. I want to see, if it wasn't for that car, I probably would have sped up. So I've noticed it speeds up slower than it used to. I want to see if it can make it around these curves. I'm going to cancel this. Uh, at a higher speed on this road. This is uh, going to be the end of this test here. But as always, I appreciate everyone watching. I hope this has been a good teaser to what is to come with 10.11. Um, it seems, so far... While it seems like some things were worse, other things were better. It's hard to tell. I will, I will put that in the notes below in the comments. And um, just uh, look forward for my next videos. Uh, and I'll appreciate seeing you in, in the next video. Let's actually check this one last curve before I, hit, before I log off. Very smooth slowdown. It doesn't break as hard. Good. Good into the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.